As we continue the book of Revelation chapter 14, uh, yesterday we, we looked at the mark of the beast and, and those, uh, the, the, actually the uh, destiny of those who follow the, the Antichrist and take his mark upon themselves. And it's a devastating, ugly picture of uh, punishment on those that do that. As I said yesterday, one of the most gruesome uh, pictures of, in all of Scripture concerning judgment is found in those verses. But in verses 12 and 13, we find another group of people. Remember back in verse 6, there was an angel proclaiming an eternal gospel. Uh, so many uh, of the people rejected that gospel, took the mark of the beast, worshipped the beast. But uh, there are a group of people that did not do that, and they instead have followed the Lord. Some of them perhaps were saved out of that actual messages that were going forth from that angel. Others perhaps came to Christ earlier. But we do have a group of people in the tribulation, uh, perhaps a large group of people who have not bowed the knee to the Antichrist, who have not taken his mark. They suffer temporal consequences as a result, but not eternal consequences. And we pick up their story in verse 12. It says, here is the perseverance of the saints who keep the commandments of God and their faith in Jesus. That is probably a commentary by John himself. He, he sees a group of saints and they are persevering. They're, they're steadfast in following the Lord and in keeping his commandments and in their faith. So this is a group of people that have uh, walked with him and are walking with him. Then he hears a voice from heaven, verse 13, it's saying, right. He says, blessed are the dead who die in the Lord from now on. Uh, there are seven beatitudes in the book of Revelation, or seven blessed uh, statements. And this is one of them, the second one actually. Right, blessed or blessed are the dead who die in the Lord from now on. So uh, those are now, many of them are going to be martyred. Why? Because they refuse to take the mark of the beast. They refuse to follow him. Uh, this is picked up on, uh, picking up on chapter 6, verse 11. Remember back, uh, all the way back in the first uh, series of seal judgments that were going on. And we find in verse 11 that it says this, And there was given to each of them a white robe, and they were told that they should rest a little while longer until the number of their fellow servants and their brethren who were to be killed, even as they had been, would be completed. Now this is a picture there of the martyrs who have followed Christ, who died for that uh, reason. And they are said in verse 10, How long, Lord, before you avenge us? And the Lord says, Well, it is coming. There are yet others who must also suffer the same fate as you before I avenge their blood. Now this is probably the others that is being talked about. This is many years later uh, in the tribulation period, several years later. And uh, they now are being martyred, and apparently many more will, will die as they follow Christ during this time. And so he says, yes, says the Spirit, so, they are, so that they may rest from their labors, for their deeds will follow with them. Concerning this group of people, it, it says these followers of Christ, they will rest from their labors. If we go back to verse 11, this is just the opposite of what happens to those who follow the Antichrist says in verse 11, And the smoke of their torment goes up forever and ever, and they have no rest day and night, those who worship the beast in his image. So one of the uh, torments, you might say, in eternity for those who reject Christ and follow the, the Antichrist is that they have no rest. Now, whether that's physical rest or anxiety type of rest or, or whatever, it doesn't say, but they have no rest. Where we find that the saints in verse 13, one of the great blessings of eternity for them is that they may, may rest from their labors. Rest. Uh, we often talk about someone who has passed away as going to their rest. And that's true if they know Christ. They are resting from their labors. So one, it's a wonderful picture for them. Then it says, for their deeds will follow them, and that's a picture then of the, what they've actually done, their obedience, their deeds of, of following the Lord will follow them into eternal life. And of course, that's a picture of reward. Uh, the New Testament talks several times about the rewards that are given to the saints who truly follow the Lord and obey Him. So their deeds follow them. Their deeds are not, not wasted. So friends, we know that no matter uh, if our deeds are ignored or are never seen by other people around us. Maybe no one ever knows 
uh, how you have faithfully followed the Lord. Nevertheless, we know here that uh, if you have followed the Lord, that your deeds will follow you into eternity and you will be rewarded because of that. So these are two groups of people that are, are, are here at this point in time, those who follow the, the Antichrist and those who follow the true Christ. Their destiny is very different. Then we start with verse 14 and we look at the actual return of Christ. And that's our picture tomorrow as we continue in this chapter. I hope you can join us. You have a wonderful day in the Lord.